Hi, hello, how's it going? Welcome to Train. It's me, Cranberry. Uh, nothing, nothing new. Nothing, nothing, nothing different going on. The same old Monster Train, Gordian Quest, 20 minutes. More or less the same. Maybe, maybe a little Brotato coming up soon, but probably not too much. The game, a lot of content for a, a, a demo, but I don't know. I don't, I don't think it's all quite there just yet, but it is, it is cool. So we'll keep it in mind. Uh, but yeah, uh, we're just, we're, 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 just, we're, just, we're just, you know, you know, we're just chilling. Hopefully we get uh, a cool start here. Not Tethys. Okay, not Tethys. Hey, Hog. Not Tethys. We have Stygian back up here. We got Soul Siphon, Energy Siphon, and Echo Infusion here. Soul Siphon was pretty good for us in the last, uh, in the last Wormkin run. We went Marsh, or the last, not the last Wormkin run, the last Echo Right run that we had, because we did do some pretty cool stuff. It enabled us to get a turn one hatch on the Bog Worm, which was good. So, yeah. Okay to see it here. I'm not super excited. Echo Infusion, obviously a, a not-so-busto card. I think we take the Refracting Lens here. Sigil Seaweed's not bad, but this is a lot of HP. Hmm. Marsh Lord versus Repeater. We have no Repeater payoffs here. Soul Siphon is not a Repeater payoff. So we'll go... We'll try to go the Mass the mass Etch build here. I feel strong enough to take this Horde as well. Hmm. Founding Seal, huh? Founding Seal versus Pyrestone Housing. I guess... What are our, we got a Sigian banner lined up here with the first Merchant of Steel? Yeah, I think we go for the Founding Seal. Pyros on housing, obviously better if we go for like a Wormkin unit. But I think we can just find a good Encanter and then just take Founding Seal. Yeah, works well with the Mass Etch plan too because if we're just you know if we're etching five cards a turn and we get like some sort of Wormkin etching loop, like it's still fine because we're also just playing like six spells a turn. So I'm pretty much okay with all of this. This is a pretty easy trial. We just play top four. We tank the we tank the clergyman damage here. Not that big of a deal. Uh, something like this. We could just get the hatch pretty much right away here. We need one more thing. I'll take the echo into you here. here. You, you could argue that we wanna we wanna we wanna wait on it for a bit before we hatch. I'm okay with just popping it now. Hold on. Boom, big hits. Uh this does, these guys don't even get us an actual extra kill here. It's still the same amount of damage either way, so let's just let's just bulk them up. Okay, 11, 11 damage for a free unit. I am extremely okay with this. Um, I don't think we need to Soul Siphon here. Yeah, whatever. I, the, because, we're, because we're taking a guaranteed uh, 3 damage here if we Siphon, right? We, we, as you can see, we already win, right? So, yeah, un unnecessary. Oop. Cool. I forgot we healed off of the uh, the thing as well, so we only took six damage net. Refracting lens, that's the word. Uh, shelter, very good, but I think we actually care about just having uh, mass etch in this deck. And a zero cost purple etch versus a shelter. I think I'm taking the zero cost purple etch. Yeah, kind of a weird one. I love shelter, but... Not good here. And I think offering token out of those cards, pretty good choice as well. I hate these. But here's the thing though, right? I think we could get by. If we if we see a, a siren of the sea here, I bet we can get by with a, a sweeper with an infused siren in it now that we have the double incants. So I wanna I wanna take a weird speculative pick here in the cold Kalia. I think we get a siren into this into this squid lady, and I think we're good to go. Right, we just you know ooh, don't. I mean, the large stone's okay actually for the cold Kalia, but we need that. We need that siren here. Okay, well, 
At least I don't feel bad about taking the first <laughs> the first cold Kelly now. That is not a good hit. I will take the large stun though. I think honestly this is fine for now. Still, we need we need a, a, an infusion to make this founding seal work here on the siren. But we can go we can go large stone quick, large stone multi. Either one kind of works here. I think for us. If we do this. We do not roll the shop. Look in here. I do I do like the seek stone on soul siphon here. Having a full floor of, of, of jail crystals right off the bat. Probably a pretty good play, I think. Um, Streamstone, not worth the shards, and we'll we'll go from there. I want to be I don't want to be too too arrogant here, but I feel like we have a pretty much a guaranteed win up until ring four at at this, at this current state. Really, how do we how do we lose this right now? I don't know. But hold on, we lose this by playing in the wrong order. Pick off some of these boys. We need to hatch, so I think we should. You're you're a pretty big boy. Get that. Let's get the hatch out. Oh, yeah, that's a that's a not great draw. But yeah, we're fine. Kill you, kill you, put this here, start purple up the top floor. Hmm, I think we do this actually. This give us some damage I think, oh and then we do this, absolutely. Put you here. Big echo break. I do like that Echo Egg dies to spikes before the fly dies to just damage. Pretty good one, happy to see it. And ooh. I think Echo Transfer here with the sweeper has gotta be the pick now. Guardian Stone, if we could fit it in here somehow, would be pretty neat, but I don't think it's worth it. I think we just take another offering token. Okay. Lodestone totem is a line here. I gotta say it's a line for sure. Could go Keeper of Echoes 2-1. I'm down with the Lodestone. We're going to get a little funky. We're a little funky for sure here on this one. Um, definitely, I think we want to go right side here get some spell upgrades. A holdover on that Echo Transfer would be really nice right now. Um, do we want to risk... The, we, can, we can go for the reroll here because if we if we miss the... If we miss, like, get like a holdover and we can't afford it, we can hit the Relic and skip it and uh, get the money to buy. Okay. What can we... Now, here, here's a fun game, right? Here's a fun game. What can you get from this Divine Horde that would make you take the Relic over getting the hold over here? Light's Gift is one of them, maybe, that I would consider it, but even then is debatable. We'll see. Yeah, none, none of these are it. I'm sorry to say, but none of those are what we want. We're going to take the hold over on Echo Transfer. We got a hold over on Infusion. I think this is kind of just GG here. Um. Okay. Ooh, okay. Now this is very interesting too. So we got the big cold Kalia. I was going to infuse the cold Kalia with this lodestone totem. Was that going to be the plan? But with the tiny stone, we could instead do the same thing but have three cold Kalias. I'm down with that. That sounds fun. Okay. Um, yeah. Absolutely. Let's do it. We're going to do the energy upgrade first here so we can actually play things. But this is, I think, cool. We have a Merchant of Steel, Stygian Banner over here, but we're going to go to the Hellvent side. Absolutely next round. Okay. We we just did a fucked up uh, <laughs> Loadstone Totem run, and we're doing an even more fucked up one. And I am extremely here for it. Uh, Rage 2, Armor on Slay, not going to be an issue. 
Oh, you know, you know what we're gonna have to do though. I think with this, if we want this strategy to work, we're gonna have to go probably only shell, or only only uh, bog chrysalis one, because we don't want the eggs to be too big or to hatch too early. Maybe we can go chrysalis two and then something. I don't know. Or, or we can go we can go marshaller two, because then the the egg still only takes up one space. It's one, two, three. We only have room for two cold galleys right now, as it stands. That's fine. I think we do this. Get this in here. Yeah, we have room for two units. Okay, that works. Oh, this is interesting. What do you do here? Do you transfer or do you infusion? I think you transfer. I think you ping this transfer here. We are not losing the egg here. Do not, do not fret. Keep transferring the cold Kalia. Uh. Oh, that hatches. Okay, fine. That works, I suppose. Okay, this this is this is gonna be a little weird to navigate, but I think this works pretty well. I think I think the flies are gonna be purely tank flies on this run, so I think we're gonna want to probably go. I think ideally a shellsmith too for this run. I think that's our that's our big get here. We'll see though, I suppose, right? I know we're losing the damage on the flies because we keep playing all these echo transfers and shit, but I think this will be good. Especially once we remove these train stewards out of the deck. If we get rid of them, things should be very strong. And two cold Kali is probably redundant here. But we're playing the double cold Kalia for the double the double sap, I think, on this one. More than anything. Um We don't get to play Echo Transfer here, unfortunately. Very sad, I know. Also, this motherfucker is stealing all of our sap here, which is annoying. Not a big deal. We still obviously win this. There you go. Oh, there's Wormkin etchings. I don't hate that. We don't actually have that many cards to, to bring back. I, th I think we just go full on incant here. I think we take Ice Empire. <laughs> Founding Seal. Is good with our double sap triggers, I suppose. So yeah, we'll take Ice Empire. Take Ice Empire. In another world, Nameless Fire, we would have taken you here. You would have been pretty good. But today, we've decided to uh, do something. We've, we've decided to go our own way. <laughs> Ho hopefully, no one else has made that turn problematic. I'm sure it's not an issue. Uh, we are gonna we're gonna do this here with the Cold Kelly. I think we're gonna do, we're gonna do the double up now. We have the energy to make it work. Hidden right side here. We know we can't see Pyrestone Housing 2 because we already saw it and we skipped it for the uh, the double incants now. So something to keep in mind there. We're going to go very high on the shards once again. There you go. What's our, what's our, what's our thing here? Do we get Shellsmith? We do not get Shellsmith. I don't really want to see Repeater, so I think we go Marsh Lord 2 here. Um, I mean, like, Repeater's not the worst thing in the world, right? If we see it, like, it's not that big of a deal. But we, we would prefer, even though it's not that much defense, I think I would prefer Shellsmith 1 over Repeater 1 or 2. Um, I guess we, we're less tanky now, because we only have one unit in the front. That unit is going to be stronger. It's going to be less dependent on our, on our J.O. Crystal count, which is nice. 
Okay. Not worried about giving enemies armor here. I think our cold Kalia handles it pretty well. Worry about the curses we're gonna take here, but hopefully we can manage just fine. Maybe we'll play bottom floor, right? Yeah, I think we're okay for a bottom floor play here. This man's gonna do a lot of damage one way or the other. Can't really stop him. Maybe we can hit him with Ice Empire. Maybe maybe we get lucky on the draw. Um, put you here. This does more damage. You're alive? You're only doing 16 damage. Oh, okay, well. There you go. Put this here. I gotta play some spells here, because we need to encamp this man down. I think we should have played top floor. I think this is a mistake to go to bottom here. We missed Echo Transfer too, which sucks. Damn. Okay, that wasn't that much damage actually from him. We're definitely gonna draw the Ice Empire here. Oh my god, I'm a genius. Let's ditch this. Wowie Kazowie. Yeah, we'll just pop this whatever. There you go. Uh, I guess you don't care that much about this either, huh? Okay, you can go up and die. And he win this. Cool, okay. That, that, I guess that did ultimately work out for us, huh? The bottom, bottom floor play went pretty well there. I was a little scared. But our damage would be too low, but our saps are very strong. Four, four sap per spell played is pretty good, obviously. Um, I think all these spells are pretty bad for us. I think Slow Cripple is just not worth the cost, so I think we skip that. Ooh. Gifts is bad if it hits our uh, Echo Transfer. I think this is another skip, honestly. I don't know. Because we have we have some we have we have some etch effects, right? Like Marsh Lord does hatch us faster. And I guess I guess we do want to hatch faster with uh what's it called? With uh Kano's Pupa, but I don't know. There's too many good cards that can hit that would be bad for us if it did hit, so I think we just skip that. Pretty sure I want to go left side here. Hellvent doesn't have much for us, I think, at this point. I think I just want to, like, make, like, Offering Token held over at this point or something like that. Let's go over here. Re reduce the cost of some cards. It would be good, too. Permafrost... Uh, I kind of don't hate permafrost and echo transfer, so we can hold it in case we don't have the purple for it. I actually like that quite a bit here. Just weird, but it's a good ins it's a good insurance policy. Um, surge stones. Mm. I feel like our frozen lances are more important than our ice empire here because we just need to play spells. Although we're probably playing top floor most of the time from here on out, so I don't know. Let's just make spell zero costed here. There's a holdover. I gotta imagine... I mean, holdover echo infusion is good too, but we already have the, the echo transfer holdover. I think we just want to get offering token holdover so we have like a guaranteed like purple card every turn. That's also pretty good. That helps us filter. Okay. Oh, you know what? Train stewards out. For sure. For sure. The cavern. Cavern. What do you got for us? Trap shoot's a good spell. I'm down I'm down with the trap shoot, especially against Seraph the Patient, who I've just registered as being here for the first time this run. Luckily, we've picked a, a strategy that's very good against Seraph the Patient, so I'm not that worried. Um... 
But who knows? Who knows what could have happened? Um, I feel pretty confident in taking this trial here, but especially the 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 upgraded marksmen are pretty scary. But we're pretty we're pretty broke right now. Let's do it. We'll be fine. No fear. Put this down first. Boom, boom. Boom. I'm gonna put this here, whatever, it doesn't really matter. And this is why we froze Echo Transfer. We're killing you, which is good. I don't think we need to freeze you either. I think we're pretty much fine here. Maybe just save trap shoot for second cycle. Maybe we hit the boss with it later. Or something. I don't know. Look, look, look at this tactical play here. That was set up on purpose. Okay. Sacrifice the train steward. He's pretty saffed up. I might get a hit in on the pyre though. One damage, one damage, oh no. And we immediately heal that damage right back. We're on we're we're on the precipice on this run here. It, it, things are a little little scary for sure. I'm almost noticing it all fall apart here. One 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 bad draw sequence and everything's fucked. But I think this this permafrost on Echo Transfer is actually secretly busted, so. Happy I took that. Uh, what's this you? There you go. Ready you. This here. Kill this, kill this. Hit him with the trap shoot. Just really show him what's up. Sap him for a billion and then also daze him for like three turns. Only two turns, I guess, but you get the idea. Uh, We have no use for Symphony here. For Gone Trade, though, I actually like quite a bit. Because we do struggle with energy on our first couple of turns, so if we see this, we're going to love having this card. Um, so yeah, I'm down with it. Ice Storm is purple. Ice Storm is in our deck now. Simple as that, right? Um, love hitting the left side here. We get, get more removals. Train Steward out. Probably, probably Energy Siphon's out too because it's so target, um, it's, it's target specific. It needs an enemy unit. So we get rid of that. And on over here. Love the Surge Zone on the Ice Storm. Big fan of that. Uh, keep reducing the cost of Frozen Lances. Another Primafrost. Kinda don't hate it on the Trap Shoot as well, but I think we're just gonna play Trap Shoot on Seraph as soon as we draw it. I think we just keep making this deck as affordable as we can. Power Stone on the Ice Empire is a pretty good play too, I think. That's fine. Crew Stone, Extreme Stone? Well, listen, if you're going to force me to do it. Ice Empire versus Extreme Stone on Ice Empire. 290? I like the 290 hit. Let's do that. Um. Yeah, let's move on. Go on to Arcus here. I think this is the best configuration for us as far as shards. Although I think this combat does have the curse boys on bottom floor, right? Yeah. I this I think this time we eat the curses and just play top floor. I think we need to make sure we can actually sap down these marksmen and stuff like that. Otherwise, we're gonna maybe just lose. So yeah. Uh, Alia, Echo right. This doesn't kill you, right? 
No. Okay, bring on the curses. Hmm. I'll take the damage, it's fine. I hatched you! Fuck! Hold on. Ah, man. I really want to do no resets here. That's fucking bad of me. That's really bad. Okay, we'll see if we can, we'll see if we can you know, lie in our bed here. But I, I did fucking... We hatched it too early. Damn. I mean, we have double incants. We're... we're Pretty strong still. The curses here are definitely annoying though. We need to draw. We need to draw our. Uh, you know what it's called. We need to draw our thing that does the uh, <laughs> scaling. There you are, echo transfer. Maybe we put echo transfer on the kinos here. Nah, I think we put it on the back still. I think we do this. Just for the incant on you so you, you make it to the top floor but die to the, the the pyre. I think we're okay here actually, so despite my terrible misplay, I think we're still gonna pull through just fine here. We're gonna have a trillion sap on Arcus because it's a floating boss. Yeah, we're gonna be okay. Here we can just pitch this, put this here. Probably I should get rid of you, yeah. And also, the, we're gonna stack up the Frostbite too. Yeah, we're gonna be great. We do not play the Lodestone Totem, or ah. Uh, we play Cold Kelia down here. You are, you know, I think we can actually. A little bit of extra damage. Put this here. There you go. Good, good draw, by the way. Uh... Oh, that was close. Okay. Despite the terrible misplay, our run was still strong enough, and I can retain my honor. For not resetting this run. But, I, you know, I think I said at the start of this rig, I want to try to restart less. And, uh, yeah. I meant it. Incubation? Yeah, we'll take it. Just gotta be careful we don't, you know, prematurely hatch. A lot of guys have problems with that. You know, nothing to be ashamed of. Uh, I think we go right side here. Steel Shop is nothing for us. We already have removed most of our bad cards, so we don't really get that much value out of it. Caverns could be cool. I can overstack on one of our... our uh, our squid ladies could be cool, but let's just let's just go right side, look for a cool relic maybe. Anything neat over here? Base charge is not that good. Ember Talisman also pretty bad. I think we just roll this. I think Cuddlebeard's actually pretty cool considering the cold Kalias. It pumps them from two to five frostbite per attack, and the frostbite doesn't go away. Uh, more relevant, I think, for uh Seraph the Patient, but also in the Relentless against Divinity, it's gonna be pretty important too, I think. Let's take that. Um, we take the shell smith here for sure. The the egg is too big is the problem, right? The egg takes up three space, so we would need we would need uh, a size upgrade to fit cold Kalia, cold Kalia. Uh, even then, it wouldn't work, right? Because the yeah, egg probably takes up two space. So yeah, there's we need to do a configuration where it works. We need to draw both cold Kalias on turn one to fit them both on the floor. So instead, we're going to opt for a Shellsmith for a tiny bit of extra armor. Not much. Not a huge deal. Tiny bit of extra. And I think this should be a pretty easy trial for us two here. Um, you get the Soul Siphon. This is fine. 
We don't want to hatch. Right now we're at one, two, three, four, five. If we play this, we hatch, actually. Because we, we etch. And we remove two shell, we're at eight, six, yeah. So we just play this. Pass the turn. So I'm trying, trying to not be dumb this time. Maybe not succeeding entirely, but trying. We get our we get our boy out of the egg now, which is good. We do get echo transfer here as well, which is also very good. Yeah, this one this one's looking pretty strong, pretty consistent too right now, which is nice to see. Like there there is there is no worse feeling in Monster Train than coming up with a strong build, but it not being consistent and losing at the end of the run. That is like tragic. I think we can all agree with that. It's absolutely tragic. But this one it feels. Pretty consistent, right? I don't know, I feel like it, it seems pretty good. I wonder what we should, if we should, we should probably be considering putting Kinos in the back here, right? Because Kinos is double striking, but we do have the sweep, which is important too. I don't know. My initial vision for the run was to, was to be playing Cold Kelly in the back, so I think I want to stick to it. Bye. Send him down just for fun, basically. Yeah, when I, when I originally started doing this, I was like, this would be cool to put Cold Kalia in the back with, like, a sweep. And, like, originally I also wanted a Siren infuse on it, but you know how that went. So, you know, it is what it is. Steel Slate might be an issue for us, huh? In the in the in the the mini boss, could be a slight problem, but I think we'll be fine. This guy, not even close to being an issue. Ah, oh, you know he got fifty six damage on Kinhos. Actually, that's not nothing. Cool, cool. Resonance is probably a pretty good spell for us. I'm down with that. And... It's not purple, but we got some good zero... Oh, you know what? We have... Did we get holdover for the offering token? I don't remember. We did. Okay. We'll take we'll take uh, Guardian's Amulet then. That's even more sap. That seems pretty good here. We gotta go left side, right? Like, absolutely here. Get rid of the other energy siphon. And what do we get rid of besides that? Maybe just like an echo break? Yeah, I guess just an echo break here actually, because it does require a target to hit. We can always hit our own cards, but I'd rather just, you know, not have it, I think. Merchant of Trinkets, what are you rocking? Sketches. Oh man, can you imagine if we just had like four? We could, we could, you know, we could deviate here. We could go a little rogue. We could go sketches here and just dupe the cold Kalia again and have three cold Kalias on that middle floor. Oh, okay, if we had the size upgrade too, we could have gone three we could get three cold Kalias and then we'd have room for Echo right afterwards as well. That would have been so cool. Um unfortunately we are not going to do that though. Um it would be good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're doing it. <laughs> like, well, how, how do you not do this, right? Like, what, what fucking psychopath doesn't do this? That's what I want to know. Where are you? Who, who, who says no to this? I want answers. Um, you know what I kind of like here? I kind of like conscription notice actually too, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna play the echo rate, right? But then we're not going to have anyone on the floor with it. These guys only take up one space. So there's three of them. If we take Conscription Notice, we can fit the Conscription Notice unit on the Kolkalia floor. 
So yeah, we're doing we're doing that. Can we lower you down to one? That makes sense here. Uh, surge stone. I don't even want a surge stone actually. These are all pretty fine to keep in the deck forever. And you know what? Let's let's get let's get a little wild for the score. Nah, um, I'm not that crazy, or am I? No. We have one Frozen card, and it already costs zero, so this is nothing. Dun Echo, <laughs> nothing. Rationing Scales kills us. Get 25 gold, I guess. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just leave. You know what we'll do? For fun, it ruins our score a little bit, but we'll just roll this to see what else is here. Yeah, nothing, nothing that we care about. Okay. Um... So this is cool. Well, we, we do we well first off we do this put this up here <laughs> we don't need any more sweepers this is enough this is enough sweepers but you know what? this is the worst sweeper so we'll put this here I guess it is kind of funny I think that it's here um we'll keep sapping you up This just hatches you, huh? That's pretty cool. The resonance here. You get rid of the trap shoot. Bulk up the house Kermit. Please stop trying to kill my Kinho's pupa. If we do this. Uh, this? I don't know. It doesn't really matter too much. Keep you safe. Okay, whatever. Finally, you come to the middle floor to fight me. You will regret this. Um, let's get as much sap as we can on Seraph here, I think. Is the general plan. It's pretty, pretty good. You can't hurt the pyre, so that's fine. Pitch this. Pitch this. Whatever. This is great. What, what's, what's better than this, right? Okay, put this down. You love to see it. You love you love to see the last second sketch or sketches of salvation pivot here. Just unnecessary, but also extremely strong as well. I guess we just daze you. Not that it really matters, I guess. Yeah, they're not actually significantly important. And prepare for death by a thousand frost here, Sarah, because it is not going to go well for you next turn. Put this here, put this here. Laws, oh, you're, you have spikes actually, huh? It's kind of it's bad if you make it to the top, but you're not even gonna make it there anyway. The we're gonna win this, but also Kenos would kill you anyway. Yeah. Um, good run, everyone. Good run. There you go. And yeah, these guys also just die up there. Great. Very good. Very happy. <laughs> so in my head right now, in my head, I'm like trying to figure out what I'm going to put into the uh, random image generator. To get a to get a thumbnail that I like for this video, 
First thing I thought was Inkling Rule 34. I have a sneaking suspicion that's not going to turn out well. May and primarily because I can't title the video Inkling Rule 34. That'll get me in a lot of trouble, I imagine, with the old YouTubes. So, what are you going to do, right? Oh, perfect. Perfect card. Perfect card to put on the team here. Absolutely loving it. That's just hilarious to me. What's better than this? Just squids being squids. Um, let's, let's hatch you, I guess. Why not, right? Like, I don't know. It doesn't really matter. You guys, you guys are not long for this world, for the record. You are going to get killed pretty quickly. Kind of by design, I guess I would say. Okay, do a little of this. Yeah, this, the spikes here causing a little bit of damage. Eh, whatever, you know. Let's try to save them up top. Echo Transfer makes it into the mix here. Can we kill you? We can. Okay, good. The less spike damage our fire takes, the better our score is. Oh, you're taking 25 here? I know this is an extinguish in all the spikes. Yeah, that makes sense, actually. Okay. So, the first Cold Kalia may, uh, die. She may not live to see the light of day here. Although, eh. Only taking one. Hmm. Maybe we can draw an infusion next turn to keep her alive. Oh, actually, we have a couple turns to draw it too, huh? Let's pitch this. I think because you're 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 not making it. You're making it to the pyre, but you're not hitting the pyre. I should clarify. Um. Oh, your extinguish trigger though. Can we kill you down here? Actually, hold on, hold on. If we do like, you're doing five damage by yourself. We do. Oh no, because you guys are attacking. Shit. That doesn't work. Okay. We gotta play this here. Let's peel off your shield. Okay, the odds are low, but there's a chance we can keep this cold Kalia alive. Oh no, it ain't happening. Yeah, he's dead. Cold Kalia eats shit and dies. For sure on this one. Very, very tragic. Honestly, gone, gone too soon. Rest in peace, Cold Kalia. Um, as long as the spikes don't make it up to the pyre, we're fine. We care about that. We all we care about is that score, baby. It's all about the score, baby. <laughs> wow, how tragic. As soon as the eel, as, as as soon as as soon as she passes away, as soon as the squid passes away, boom. Double echo infusion. Truly a terrible day in America. Oh, I, I, you know, come on, two two in one day, that's fucked up. Was wasn't bad enough that we lost the squid. Now we're losing the Kinos pupa. Um, let's pitch this. Definitely pitch that. Put this here. 
Some, something tells me we're going to win the Relentless. I don't know what it is. It might be the 248 Frost or Sap, I mean. Something is telling me we got this one figured out, though. I'm actually surprised you'd die right now. I, I guess, you know, actually it makes kind of sense because we're not, we don't have any Sap on this floor right now. Yeah. There you go. Cool, cool, cool. Hey, cool, fun, fun run. Fun little pivot at the end there for the sketches. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. Um, yeah, have, have a good one. I'll give you the seed, obviously, and I will <laughs> look at look at the little look at the words happening on the side of the screen there as it fades out. That's so good. Okay. Uh, seed me, please, please seed me, sir. What do we got here? What is the seed? <laughs> exciting position sites. Perfect. Very exciting. This this is porn, actually. I just realized like, exciting positions. This is this is pornography websites. This whole this whole video is fucked, man. <laughs> Goodbye.